A U-turn from the CDC, less than two months after giving vaccinated people the green light to get rid of their masks, the agency's director now has this urgent message. Put them back on in indoor public spaces. That includes students and staff at K-12 schools. The new recommendation applies to those living in areas with high or substantial transmission rates of the virus. This map by the CDC shows that's about two-thirds of the U.S. The Delta variant is showing every day its willingness to outsmart us and to be an opportunist in areas where we have not shown a fortified response against it. CDC officials said the reason for the change, new data that shows vaccinated people on rare occasions can spread the Delta variant. Also troubling, in some instances, they carried the same viral load as an unvaccinated person. It's understandable because this whole pandemic has been moving so quickly. The more infectious a virus is, the higher the bar for herd immunity. So with Delta, the bar has suddenly been raised on us and we have to react accordingly. Biden blamed unvaccinated Americans for sowing confusion over the situation, not the CDC's changing guidelines. If those other 100 million people got vaccinated, we'd be in a very different world. We are for freedom all the way. This mask burning protest in Florida, a state with high transmission rates of the virus, is one example of the uphill battle health officials are fighting. None of us like wearing masks. People need to get vaccinated. Also in Florida, a different message. The 62-year-old man who's fighting COVID, urging others not to make the same mistake he did by not getting the shot. Take it, take it, do the right thing. With the Delta variant now making up the majority of new COVID cases in the U.S., CDC officials say masks will be here to stay until more people get vaccinated. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.